Okay, a short video <coughs> on how to time the engine on a 3 litre 2003 model TFS chassis number Isuzu D Max uh, 4JH1 engine code. They look more complicated than what they actually are, so <coughs> I'll share this with you. What you have on this, it can be hard to see on this camera because uh, it's so confined, but you've got a gear system. So you've got TDC down there at the crankshaft bolt. But first of all, you've got the timing marks on the uh, timing casing. So that's not on here at the moment, but say you're going in there and you're doing a job on the gear system. How you time it up, it's pretty straightforward. You've got a couple of marks and grooves on each wheel. You might be able to see it there in the video. I'll show it to you on uh, the drawings. So. In the middle there, right here, you've got a connecting gear. So you've got the crankshaft, you've got the camshaft over here, and then that's it. You've got a connecting gear then to connect the crankshaft to the camshaft to get the timing right, to get what I call the harmonious position between crank and cam is done by this wheel right here, connecting wheel. It's also the supply oil pressure comes out through him to keep the gears lubed. But in any case, you connect them up, you, you, you bring the dots into sync with each other. You'll have to remove the wheels and uh, you'll remove this other idler gear that connects to the diesel pump. I've got the diesel pump out of this one because there's a problem with it, waiting on it to come back from repair. So in terms of timing it, bear with me and I'll explain it to you. So... You've got your groove on your on your crankshaft, which I know you probably can't see, but I'll show it to you better on the paperwork in a second. You line up the groove on the crankshaft with the groove on the uh, connecting wheel, and then the other groove, or dot, whatever you want to call it, you can probably see the two dots there on the connecting wheel. They line up and correspond with the camshaft connecting wheel. So when all dots are in sync with each other, you know that you've got harmony between the crankshaft pistons and the camshaft overhead valves that's step one step two then we got to time the diesel pump how do you do that you get the connecting wheel between the idler wheel a or the connecting gear a and you've got the connecting gear for the diesel pump again to get the diesel pump right now and to time now that we've got the crankshaft and the camshaft in harmony with each other via their connecting wheel that's fine. Now we need to time up and get the diesel injection in harmony with the crank and camshaft. So pretend your diesel pump is in place. You put in the, uh, the connecting gear that will now connect the diesel pump to the crankshaft and the camshaft over here. So you've got your locking pin for the uh, uh, connecting gear that goes on the diesel pump. You put that in there that's just that's just a damper for the uh for the diesel pump that's nothing to do with the timing we've got grooves marks on the connecting wheel that connects the diesel pump to the rest of the engine we line up those grooves with the grooves on the connecting wheel between the crank and the camshaft and then there's a groove on the diesel pump that will line up with the groove i.e mark on the connecting wheel for the diesel pump and then that brings your timing into sync. I'll show it to you on the paperwork so you get a much better image of what I'm trying to show you in a confined space. Crankshaft. You can see the dot on the crankshaft wheel. Camshaft. You can see the two dots on the camshaft wheel. And then you take our connecting, wheel, our connecting gear. It'll be removed. So we'll rotate camshaft and crankshaft to line up and match up with the two dots on the connecting wheel for the camshaft, the single dot on the connecting wheel for the crankshaft. And by connecting those dots together in harmony like that, you end up by default having a cam and crank in line with each other. Isn't that correct, Sheba? Okay, next we move up to our diesel pump right up here. We've got our connecting wheel B. Put him into position. The three dots on connecting wheel B line up with the three dots on that previous mentioned connecting wheel A. That puts into position our connecting wheel for the diesel pump. 
we get our diesel pump, rotate our diesel pump until the dots on the diesel pump line up with the dots on connecting wheel A, or connecting wheel B, sorry. And there you go, you've got a system, sorry now my lights are, you've got a system in sync. And that's it, that's the timing, the engine on the 3 liter Isuzu D-Max timed for the 4 JH1 engine, 3 liter diesel, out of a chassis number model TFS77. That's it, it's timed. And then you can reassemble everything, put back on the covers, and you'll find that the marks on the outer covers will then line up. Hope that's useful to somebody. Looks more daunting than what they are, but they're actually pretty simple.